All righty. I'm here to talk to you guys today about Canada's Wonderland and their transformation into a theme park. You've heard me talk about this a lot, and I haven't truthfully understood the whole plan that Wonderland and Cedar Fair might have for the park that's been going on. With all my recent findings, and <laughs> there's a lot of them, um, I truthfully am going to reanalyze some of my thoughts on Canada's Wonderland, and I have a lot to say. I really think that we missed the mark with all the surveying that was going on. So for those of you that can, you know, rewind a little bit, Wonderland essentially as a park was surveyed this summer um, from top to bottom, from every area um, they were surveyed. A lot of the area surveyed was Kingswood, Time Warp, Flight Deck. Um, Medfair was surveyed a bit, Front Gate was surveyed, um, and yeah, the, uh, the area that oddly wasn't surveyed was Frontier Canada. So again, that, that does paint a picture. Now, when we saw this surveying going on, we talked heavily about it, you know, a re-enhancement of Action Zone to World Expo, and I do think that is a part of the plan. It would have to be. Um, but I think we missed the mark on how big of an investment was heading our way. So I am here to confirm to you today that Wonderland has confirmed to me um, that uh, front gate upgrade, words upgrade, is in the process for 2024. Um, so they didn't have any further information to share with me. So we will have to wait and see. I drew up so far what I think is happening. The red arrows will be the new entry points into either um, what I assume the orange bars are either going to be self-serve kiosks or the new um, security posts. Uh, green will be self-serve kiosks, uh, limiting the amount of workers they have. Blue will be the new store. And then pink will be the new front gate tolls. I do think that they will be half self-serve, obviously with some, uh, with some attendance still there. Blue is going to be the new enhanced international um, street slash front gate. Uh, with a lot of work being done to help with guest flow. I do think we might get the get King's Island treatment to our Front Gate International um, Street area, which I am not a fan of, but I do think we need desperately for guest flow. Orange is going to be our massive 2025 wing coaster, um, with a small chance of it being an invert. Again, it, I'm really torn on this because an invert would make more sense um, in a lot of aspects, but I do think they're going to go with an, a wing. Pink is a, a, a huge assumption, by the way. So the, the information I'm about to present to you is the opinions of me. Um, with the recent findings of Cedar Fair trademarking Canada's Wonderland and Wonder Space Land um, for hotel and restaurant purposes, it does leave me thinking that the old um, hotel property that they were planning for the Rutherford area is off the table now and that they're dreaming something bigger. If you go even back two years ago, I was presenting the fact that in a presentation that Vaughn Tourism did, they were looking to have an indoor water park in Vaughn by the year 2030, the latest. Well... Oh my god, my microphone just fell. <laughs> well, um, you know, we're 2023, approaching 2024, and Canada's Wonderland might have footed the bill. Um, with some city funding, obviously, perhaps we could be seeing a hotel indoor water park like Castaway Bay being built on site. And the only place that this would work is the Kingswood plot of land. I know a lot of enthusiasts really want the Kingswood plot of land to be used for roller coasters and the park, and yes, the park is landlocked, but they're not as landlocked as you think. Again, not drawn up on here is Splashworks Upgrade that is also going to be happening over the next three years. Um, so I have heard rumblings that Splashworks is going to be receiving a really big upgrade as well, um, but we'll have to see what that all entails as well. So again, there are a lot of serious plans here, and that leaves... The big question, is Canada's Wonderland transi transitioning into a destination park? And the answer is definitely yes. So we've done a lot of talking about Wonderland 100% becoming a theme park from an amusement park, and that has been very evident, and that has been confirmed by the park. But has there been a lot of talk about them becoming a world destination park? And to be a world destination park, you do need hotels, 
Um, and you do need world-class attractions. And I can tell you, yes, right now, we do not have world-class attractions as a total portfolio, but they are working on it. Um, and I think the hotel isn't, like, you have to remember, a lot of people are assuming this hotel is going to start ground now, start digging ground now. That's not the case. So I would assume that they trademark these things, and we're looking at a hotel more so for the earliest 2025, if they wanted to open with the wing coaster, but more so 2027. So I think that Canada's Wonderland has an end goal of from the years of 2027 to 2030 to be a destination park. And we're going to see a lot of money funneled into this park between now and 2030. Sorry, did I say 2030? <laughs> 2030. Um, so I'm really excited. I think that um, this whole presentation, this whole idea of them becoming a destination park is becoming almost like undebatable. Uh, there's a lot of evidence that is suggesting that. And truthfully, I'm really excited. This is going to leave, I think, Kings Island, if this happens, and also if Kings Island isn't a part of that plan itself, it very well could be, as being the only um, large Cedar Fair Park without an on-site hotel. So, again, I definitely suspect Kings Island and Canada's Wonderland are on the list to receive on-site hotels, as these two parks have been doing exceptionally well this season. So... Uh, again, I think that's part of the reason that we're seeing these on-site hotel um, plans and preparations pop back up. So hopefully you enjoyed today's video. I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on the future of Canada's Wonderland, and hopefully you're as excited as I am. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye.